the prison at Fort Madison has uh, run into problems, the expansion. Um, it's still not occupied. Uh, they, they say that there's a $7 million problem to fix. Um, some are saying it's actually um, a lot more than that. Um, and, you know, concerns about uh, how that is going to be resolved. Um, are you confident that as you came in and redesigned the way the state was overseeing construction projects, uh, that, that that was actually a good idea and that the state is um, is actually saving money? You know, you're going to have a big lawsuit over this Fort Madison prison. Yeah, but this design was done under the previous administration and it was done under um, uh, the, the regulations they had in place. And the administration has been overseeing it for four well, years. Yeah, but though. here's the problem. Uh, for instance, the difference between 132 million and 166 million, well, th that was to basically furnish it. So they didn't honestly tell people up front the cost of this is not just the bricks and mortar to build it. You also have to put all the furnishings inside it. Well, why as well. has it taken this long to find this problem? Uh, there was a problem with the geothermal system at Clorinda, and the Department of Administration and Administrative Services got that fixed. Well, this was a design problem as I understand it. The Attorney General's office is working with Corrections Department to identify who was responsible and, and why this wasn't appropriately designed. They didn't discover the problem until they'd completed construction and they were getting ready to open it. And then they've discovered a second problem and that is uh, uh, getting the smoke out of the building. So are you, are you rethinking at all the way your administration oversees construction? Well, yes. We want to make sure that whenever a project is proposed, the entire cost of it, unlike what happened in the previous administration, is provided. So people know the full picture. This cost was, from the beginning, going to be $166 million, not $132 million. Secondly, uh, I think uh, we eliminated the project labor agreements, which drove up the cost and saw to it that many Iowa contractors couldn't bid. It had to go to this big Chicago firm. I think that was wrong. and I took action to change that. I put uh, Janet Phipps in charge of the Department of Administrative Services. Uh, she's a lawyer and has ex considerable experience of being a department head. I think she's doing a good job of providing the oversight that we need so that we don't have this kind of thing happen again.